Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I'm testing the Pico Neo Link 3 today. Um, the first thing I noticed I uh, had to tinker with the audio so the, the microphone was way too loud. I had to set it to like 70% and also in OBS I had to reduce the, the, the input volume so I hope the audio is now fine. I did some test recording, but that was the first thing I noticed. So with the 8KX and also with the crystal, this worked uh, right, off, uh, right out of the box. Um, so overall, I can say installation went pretty smooth. Um, didn't use the, the, uh, the Pico 3 in a long time. Um, on this PC, I didn't uh, try it out till now, and it is the latest software. So, and it is the first thing, uh, the first time I installed it. So, like last time, um, setting the pixel density to 1.3, and I will try to read from five meter distance. So. I can say the picture is very clear and if you compare the for example the 8kx or the crystal with this so this is absolutely fine it is really um, you have nice to uh, edge to edge clarity and I would say like in the eighth row I can read the letters um, and then in the uh, ninth row, I'm not able to to spot the letters uh, anymore. So um, using display board is a really um, important thing for this device. So I also got the Pico 4. And unfortunately, uh, the Pico 4 don't have um, the display board anymore. But Pico 3 has display board. So very nice, uh, sharp image. What I noticed right away was um, the FOV, it feels very round. So that's the difference to the crystal because the crystal has like, uh, um, it's like the old uh, 423 monitors. So I will try the FOV test now. So yeah, um, with ninety two, this is the whew, vertical FOV. Yeah, and now for the horizontal. So, and <laughs> this is the thing, um, if I'm honest, then um, there is, it's like looking through, uh, um, how can I explain this? Uh, it's looking li like uh, through a telescope. So I got this very round FOV. And if I'm honest, the one of the um, red, um, I don't know how to say this, like the red lines um, is like um, touching the, the the FOV, the outer edge of the FOV. And so now the red lines slowly disappear. So I would say there is only 50% of the red line visible. So yeah, it's like the thing because the FOV is like a circle. And if I'm honest, with 90 degrees, okay, 92, I can, yeah, I'm barely see the, the, the lines anymore. So with 94, there are no lines anymore. 92 i would say like 93 92 so this but 
if I'm being honest, only uh, at 76 degrees, I can see the lines fully. So, and that is something I didn't notice before. Um, with the crystal, you don't have this, this barrel view. So, that is also a reason why the, the FOV feels bigger. Um, so, the 8KX, no questions uh, about that, is still the FOV king. But, um, yeah, this is like with 92. Um, uh, if I remember correctly, I got 102 in uh, with the crystal. So, um, yeah, uh, this is fine. So also with the with the Pico three, very nice edge to edge uh, clarity. So I will leave the FOV test and I will go somewhere where the spooky music isn't playing. Okay, doesn't help here. Okay. Um, so yeah, from the FOV, uh, I totally get it when you, uh, or in, in my opinion, when you're using the, the, the Pico 3 for quite a time, you will get used to the FOV. So it's smaller. No, it, it is like it is, but um, the step from the visual clarity and also the FOV uh, is is really really big, um, but of course uh, the device costs like three times more, so that's a thing. But if you want to aim for the best uh, picture quality, go with the crystal. Um, also glare, mm, not so much. I can see. A little bit of chromatic aberration on the edges, but the the picture from the Pico three is so much better uh, compared to the Quest two. It is because we love DisplayPort, and it's a shame that the Pico uh, four doesn't have DisplayPort anymore. So um, maybe in a few days I will uh, take the. Crystal four for ah uh, the crystal yeah the Pico four for spin. Um, I have to say, um, if you look at the uh, FPS VR stats, so this thing is like really optimized. So I guess in in my uh, case with the forty ninety, so I well let's try it out. I will um, switch the the pixel density to I don't know. 2.0 percent and then we have a look if this <laughs> so yeah still with the um, pixels doubled I'm still having like no latency or no like I can't feel the latency at all. So if you want to tinker with the with the resolution, the Pico four, uh, Pico three is uh, the way to go. Um, the colors uh, was also a thing I noticed right away. So I'm not that like color guy. So I um, I noticed the colors in the 8KX and also in the Crystal. The Crystal colors are very nice. Um, I noticed it when I opened the Steam VR home that um, the the uh, little pictures of the games were not like colorful. So also that is something. It's notable, uh, noticeable, but it's not a deal breaker. So I think overall the Pico Three is even in two thousand twenty three one of the really best headsets because you have standalone mode you have the display board with such nice uh, clarity and the last test so there are no such thing as distortions or or something so yeah if you even the sweet spot um i find it very comfortable and because the 
Pico 3 comes with uh, like the Quest Elite strap right out of the box. The headset is very good balanced and there's one thing I notice right away. So um, if I'm looking just straight ahead and um, I'm looking to the right with my eyes, then I see like super aliasing. So this is it feels like the, the, the resolution reduces uh, with the edges. I don't think if this is really a thing, thing, but if I'm turning my head now, this is everything is like super, um, like with anti-aliasing and now the, the, um, the aliasing to the edges is noticeable. So yeah. If you don't own a VR headset and you want the best, um, I would say, experience for the buck, go with the Pico 3. Um, because if you want to, to, to use PC VR without virtual desktop, so with, uh, with tethered uh, experience, go for the Pico 3. And if money isn't uh, a, a thing, uh, definitely go for the crystal or the the 8kx but i guess the 8kx you don't get it anymore so the crystal is the way to go right now yeah if you have some questions or something um just as usual write uh, some in the comments or you can write me directly or an email or whatsoever so yeah thank you for your attention and goodbye see you next time